So earlier today, one of the youngest ministers in Uganda, Fiona Nyamutoro, who is also known for her connection with a one Eddie Kenzo, narrowly escaped an attempt on her own life. The incident took place at Uganda Cement following her decisive action to halt illegal mining activities in Wutare. Fiona's decision to cancel the mining operations was based on her assertion that the activities were illegal and infringed upon the licenses of other miners. We are going to come back to ensure that the equipment has been moved out and mining has been closed in all the areas that national cement is illegally carrying out mining when it is not licensed by government and when it is especially infringing on other people's licenses that are supposed to be carrying out work. It sounds like the miners in Butari were operating without a proper license, prompting her intervention. Meanwhile, according to some reports, the boss of the mining operation, it is said that the boss of the mining operation might have been unaware of the situation. And it's also speculated that after a phone call explaining the circumstances that were happening while Nyamutoro was there, orders must have been given to the private security to eliminate any interference. <laughs> I think they called their boss and the yeah. boss told them shoot whoever has come there. This, there. Is the, this is the impunity that some people exhibit. Private security yes. wants to shoot at us? Ah. You can imagine, the breaks were even in the chamber they wanted to. Mm. Huh? The bread was in the chamber. They got an order. Yes. It seems, so and we shall say yes. No, no, we need to see who their boss is. Who is that to give orders to shoot at us? Are you mad the coach? I will have a word of caution for Fiona. Guys, being one of the youngest appointed ministers is a significant achievement. But let's be realistic. It's essential to exercise caution in such volatile situations. But again, I applaud her courage, which is commendable. But again, safety should always come first. And I hope she remains safe and continues her impactful work. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Twine. See you in the next one.